everybody ready? I want to thank everybody for coming out today. We've got an announcement today about Texas Brown. I want to remind folks about how we got here on the first in the first place. Make no mistake about it, though. We're here today together, state, local officials, and residents. We're calling on Texas Brown to make things right for the residents who've been affected by this signal. Now, you may remember on March 14, they met with us. Texas Brown officials came to Baton Rouge. They met with state and local officials. They pledged to extend settlement offers, including buyouts, to residents who've been forced to evacuate their homes as a result of this sinkhole. They committed to issuing settlement offers within 30 to 45 days of property inspections. As of today, more than two months have passed since they agreed to finally do the right thing. Not one resident has been offered a buyout offer yet. Now let's go over the numbers. As of May 16th, Texas Brian's own numbers show that 110 residents had requested settlement forms. 102 had submitted claim information sheets. 97 properties have been inspected. Five properties remain to be inspected. As of today, 66 properties have reached that 45-day deadline. By Friday, this Friday, March 24th, 85 properties will have reached that deadline. By May 31st, 87 properties will have reached that 45th deadline, 45th day deadline. More than 350 lives have been impacted by this sinkhole. For months, we've been pressuring Texas Brine to step up to the plate and do the right thing. They are responsible for this sinkhole. They need to clean up the mess they have made. They need to do right by our people. For weeks, our people have been told that buyout offers were coming. And you may remember when I was here last time, I repeated a, a saying we learned during the oil spill in 2010. You know, it, one of our local parish officials used to say, they kept saying help was coming tomorrow. And he said when he heard that, he finally figured out that didn't mean help was coming tomorrow. That just meant help wasn't coming today. Unfortunately, that's what's happening again with Texas Brian. People have been told day after day that buyout offers are coming tomorrow. Not one offer has been made. That is completely unacceptable. It has become clear to me that Texas Brian is simply trying to run out the clock. They're hiding behind their lawyers, their lobbyists, their insurance companies. Enough is enough. We have heard every excuse in the book. And that is why today I've issued an executive order instructing the Commissioner of Conservation and every other state and local agency and official that has authority to conduct a complete review of the permits issued to Texas Brine in connection with their operations of salt cavern wells, not only in Assumption Parish, but every permit issued to Texas Brine throughout the entire state of Louisiana. Let me be clear to Texas Brine and their officials. If they don't have the wherewithal, if they don't have the flexibility, if they don't have the authority to make it right to keep their word to the people of Louisiana, then maybe they shouldn't have the ability to operate in the state of Louisiana. It is a privilege to do business in this state. This review is going to be conducted to determine if they have the current financial conditions to meet their obligations or if any of their permits should be modified, revoked, reissued, or even terminated. This review will determine the adequacy of Texas Brian's insurance coverage for their operations in this parish and throughout the entire state. The bottom line is their promises are now long overdue. Enough is enough. It is time for them to take action, do immediately what they have promised. They need to stop running out the clock. How about you? I'm tired of hearing about their lawyers, their lobbyists, their insurance companies. This is Texas Brian's responsibility. And I want to talk to the, the residents for a second. I understand that there is a letter, and I've got a copy of it here, that has been sent out by Texas Brian today explaining their lack, or trying to explain their lack of action. And I just want to say something to Texas Brian. Instead of wasting their money sending out this letter, instead of wasting their money on lawyers and lobbyists, Maybe they should use that money instead to actually make an offer. They could have saved the money it took to put together this letter and actually made an offer to those that have been waiting days, weeks, and now months. No more excuses. Now, you're going to hear from some other officials, including your local officials and legislators. I want to thank your legislators. They've got legislation going through the process. One of the things we've talked about is we may need to amend some of that legislation. We may need to put even more teeth into that legislation to tell Texas Brian now's the time to make it right. And I want to just close by saying this again. We've heard excuse after excuse about why they cannot do what they have promised to do. Let me be very clear to the people of Texas Brian and their officials. If you don't have the authority, if you don't have the financial resources, if you don't have the flexibility to keep your commitments, maybe you shouldn't be doing business in the state of Louisiana. It is not a right, it is a privilege to do business in this great state, to access our natural resources. If they want to continue to enjoy that privilege, they have got to make it right to the people of Louisiana in these communities and it starts with the buyouts. No more excuses. 
We don't want any more letters. We don't want any more blaming lawyers or lobbyists or insurance companies. The next thing we want to hear from them is actually a buyout offer to the people that have been waiting for these buyout offers. The next thing we want to hear from them is a specific offer with a check to people who want to sell their homes and move on and get past these challenges. Now, we've got several folks here that I want you to hear from, including Marty and your local officials. I want to thank them for their hard work and their leadership, as well as your legislators. And we'll be happy to come back and we'll let them speak. We'll be happy to come back and take questions from the media. But again, enough is enough. It is time for Texas Brian to do what they've said they were going to do. That is all the people want. <clears throat> thank you, Governor. I want to thank the Governor for being here and his leadership in this. We've been in communication with the Governor's office over the last week, and we've been keeping his office apprised of the fact that they have not made one buyout. Texas Brian put together this timeline. They said, told us specifically within 30 days of inspection, they would have offers to the people that wanted them. We want good business in the state of Louisiana. We want good business in Assumption Parish. But we don't need bad business. And I can tell you from my perspective, after all is said and done, Texas Brian is bad business. They have not lived up to the commitment that they have made to you as the residents. They have not lived up to the commitment they have made to the parish, the sheriff's office, and all involved. As far as we're concerned, I wholeheartedly support the governor's <coughs> effort to review their permitting. And if they don't have the wherewithal or the expertise, or the reasonableness to act in this state, they don't need to be here. And as far as I'm concerned, speaking on behalf of Assumption Parish, if they can't do what's right by the residents of Assumption Parish, we don't need them in Assumption Parish, and we don't want them in Assumption Parish. That's how we feel about this. Amen. Uh, I'd like to thank the governor for coming down uh, this afternoon. You know. We have, we've been after Texas Brian for months and months now. They have failed over and over to meet deadlines, and the most important deadline is, uh, is to make people whole, make the residents here whole one way or the other. And also I'd like to echo what the governor said about the legislation that uh, myself as well as, well as uh, Representative Karen St. Germain have authored for this session. You know, all of those pieces of legislation are still in the process and are still subject to amendments, uh, if necessary, to put more teeth in what we're trying to do. If, if they don't take what we're doing seriously, we can, we can certainly continue to make things uh, even more difficult in terms of uh, putting them in a position to have to act. So that's where I am right now. I, I believe uh, Representative St. Germain, who will speak in a second, will, will echo the same thing that we're going to watch specifically what they do over the next few days, and if we have to uh, continue to amend those pieces of legislation to drive them further in the direction of, of buying the residents of Bayou Corn out and making those offers, that's exactly what we'll do.